cooler weather is allowing fire crews in California to gain more control over three massive wildfires burning in the state. Yeah, it's good news that federal officials likely shared with President Biden today during a briefing in the Oval Office. Fox's Alexandria Hoff takes a deeper dive. Nationwide, nearly 37,000, 37,000 wildfire burning over 7.3 million acres. Federal officials briefed President Biden on efforts to respond to this year's intense wildfire season. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, there are currently 56 active wildfires across the nation. Some of the largest are in California and Oregon. My administration is working closely around the clock to control these fires and protect our people, but it's always a matter of resources. The briefing, which included California Governor Gavin Newsom, comes as cooler weather is helping firefighters gain ground against three fires burning in the Golden State. The Bridge Fire, one of the largest, has reached 25 percent containment. It sparked last week in the Angeles National Forest, east of Los Angeles. So far, it's burned dozens of buildings and forced nearly 10,000 people to evacuate. Meanwhile, the line fire in the San Bernardino Mountains is nearly 50 percent contained. This has allowed some evacuation orders to be downgraded to warnings. I'm glad to be home. <laughs> it was a long week. Workers there were out repairing utility lines in the area this week. Dozer crews were also out clearing 70 to 100 foot wide lines of brush in some parts in case the fire spreads again. Officials say the threat of fire is still very real. You know, kind of don't be lulled into a sense of security with the downgrade from uh, order to, to warning. Uh, you know, there's still active fire burning below the, the community here, and they want them to know that. As part of his remarks, President Biden also said he wanted to make $29 per hour the permanent pay rate for firefighters, but he didn't provide any details on that plan. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.